Hello students, I would like to introduce or refresh with you the idea of an art critique. Art critiques are a time-honored tradition used by artists and art lookers to talk about art. It is a detailed analysis of a piece of art or a body of art. Doing an art critique is a skill building activity. So the skills that you build during art critiques help you in other aspects of life as well because it involves close looking and deep thinking. Art critiques are an opportunity to have a personal connection with art, which is kind of the whole point of making and sharing and showing art. And it also helps you, the looker and the artist, get new ideas for art and for other things. And it's a chance for reflection, which is always good for learning. In art class, we're gonna follow three tips. The first tip is to really take your time and look. This is visual art class, and we sometimes don't spend enough time really looking and engaging with art. We'll take a quick glance, but force yourself to look for a long time at the art we are examining. Number two, avoid using lazy words when we discuss the art, like that's nice or that's cool. There's not a lot of detail in that that will help anyone but it is good to kind of dig deeper and find more words to describe what you're seeing and what you are experiencing when you look at the art. And number three, be generous. Always point out the positive the things that are successful in the work for you and maybe give one area for exploration or suggestion. So let's look at this example. We've all been creating a Louise Nevelson inspired shadow box together. We know that we created a box and we picked out some objects that appealed to us and then we composed them into a box. We all know the assignment, so to speak, was to make a nice composition, something that our eyes would enjoy exploring, something that felt right the way it was put together. We also knew that the things in our box might start to give some meaning so we would choose a color, black, gold, or white, and then see how those objects were transformed into something with meaning based on the color they were and how our box looked afterwards. What do you think draws your eye in this box? What do you think about? What kind of ideas come from looking at this artwork? So I'm gonna spend some time observing this artwork, which is my example. I see white monochromatic paint. I see lots of different shapes, including squares and circles, even a hexagon, a hook, and a pendulum boot. Take your time to look around the entire artwork to find all the details. One thing I could say in a critique is where my eye went first, or what I like to look at in this box, or where my eye flows around to. I can start to ask things like, I wonder why the boot is getting ready to kick. What is it going to kick? The thimble? And I can say what I think is successful. I like that the hook is hanging from the upper portion, like it's ready to be used in a shed or a garage. I can make a personal connection too. I can think about how I used to watch cartoons that had maybe a trap with a kicking boot or think about how all of this white makes it look like an old dusty workshop. Make whatever connections you have with the art. That's what's important here. This is a list of some ideas that students have found in past projects about Louise Nevelson. You can see that looking at objects in, with a new color gave them lots of unusual ideas. Let's look at some of our art together and talk about what we see, and what we wonder, what we like, and what we suggest and imagine for the artist. 